from Cayman Reynolds here. So it is the middle of April and it's been cooler than the last few years, but it doesn't mean that it's not time to be checking for swarm cells because these colonies, if healthy from last year, are really strong. This one right here, this one right here, both had some swarm cells that had royal jelly and of course larvae in them. And so we've got to make sure that all of our big colonies are not going to go into swarm mode because a lot of times you'll have those warm days, you'll get a lot of rain or some cool weather. The colonies are compact in there, plus if you haven't given them the space that they need, they're going to want to go off to yonder tree. So what we're going to do, we've already smoked them. We've already got into them a little bit, but we're going to show you kind of what we want to see. All right. Now, this is one of the reasons I like exterior handles a little bit easier to fool with. This is heavy, good box. Lots of beans. All right, now, you'll probably see a few cells down in there. Let me point them out if I can. It's really hard holding this phone. All right, if you see that one right there, it's right there. And we have smashed several, as you can see, just kind of looking through a couple, making sure they're not uh, starting to raise queens. Now, all of these you see right up in there that are capped, those are all drones. It's very, very common this time of year for there to be a lot of drones in between on the top bars, on the bottom bars. And so we've looked through the majority of these. You'll see there's a couple more up in there. And uh, let me see if I got this one. there's nothing in there and so that doesn't mean there won't be next week so this time of the year you've really got to stay proactive on that and so what we're going to do we have this third box right here that's empty drawn comb I'm going to throw it on there we're also going to take a couple of these frames of brood not too many but probably two of them stick them right in the center of this box and take two of these empties and stick them down in this box here and this is going to give the queen some laying room but we're still going to have to keep an eye out on this colony but that's pretty much all you have to do with this colony. You just have more boxes to look up underneath. And if they do have cap cells, um, you're going to have to just do something about it because 90 times out of 100, if not more, they are going to swarm if they are capped. Now, if you see they have royal jelly in them, then that doesn't mean it's too far gone. You just need to smash them. You need to go through every box. So since we didn't see any in this second box even started, we're not going to bother looking into that box. But with this colony, since they had a few, we had to go through every one of those boxes. And we had to do that for a little while during April and a little bit of May to make sure we get the biggest honey crops. Thanks for watching the video.